So I guess the first question really is, how did you even get into modeling? So I was scouted in a mall when I was like a junior in high school. Um, oh, you lived every like, girl's dream. Like, you know, yeah. everyone had that fantasy of getting scouted. It happened to you. <laughs> People are always like, I thought those were a scam. And I'm like, most of them probably are. So don't take <laughs> after me and go running up to those people or run away with someone in a mall parking lot. Um, but luckily it was a legitimate experience. And they introduced me. I went to, I was scouted at this mall, introduced to my very first agency, um, and started working from there. And, you know, I was still in high school, but it all picked up really quickly for me. Like I was working within the week, I was shooting a campaign for Ralph Warren. Like I like hit the ground running and it happened very quickly. So I'm really lucky that, that it happened that way. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah. Like when you were pretty young then. I was very young. I was only like, I was still like in high school. I was like playing sports and just doing all the normal things. And then some days I would just randomly like take off to the city and be going to castings for like fashion jobs and magazine editorials. Like it was very strange. Then I would just go back to school and like live my life. Casual, no big deal. Exactly. Um, so how was, I guess, that whole experience for you? Because you got into modeling quite young and obviously like it can flip either way. And like, I'm just really curious to know how it shaped you. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's so many wonderful things that have come from it and so many things that, you know, were not so wonderful, but like you said, did shape me into the person that I am today. You know, the pros of starting so young, you know, I started working hard at a very young age. I became financially independent at a very young age. You know, I grew up in like a lower middle-class family and I really hit the ground running and was working and like bought my own apartment by the time I was like 18. And like, living a great life. Like I really put my head down. You know, I didn't go to college. I decided to pursue this full time. You know, when I moved to Manhattan though, I'm from a small town in upstate New York. I moved to Manhattan and it was a very lonely time in my life. All of my friends were going to college and I felt like I missed out on that like traditional experience. It looked very cool and sexy. I was like jet setting all around the world. But at the same time, I felt like I was like missing out. And that kind of lingered for quite a long time in a way because I kind of felt like I chose this alternative path. But at the same time, you know, my work ethic and this independence that came with it you know, I wouldn't trade that for anything and being able to travel the world and meet people from like, you know, all walks of life and really be a part of like a creative process. So many different brands and companies and, you know, grow with these brands and companies. I've been with the brand Maybelline for over 10 years, almost 12 years now. And it's like, these people have seen me go from prom to like my first heartbreak to getting married. You know, I've been in the industry that long at this point. So it's been fun to grow up in it, but it definitely came with its challenges in terms of like, you know, I think every girl from 16, 17, 18, we're all trying to figure out who we are and feeling comfortable in our skin. And, you know, I felt like I was doing that under a very, um, a microscope in a way and with a lot of like opinions and critiques and just trying to do my best. So it had its pros and its cons. <laughs> I actually have a few follow-up questions to this. And I guess like, since we're already on the topic, I would love to know, how did you cope with the pressure to look a certain way? Because I mean, the pressure in high school is real as it is. And then you do it under a microscope in this like whole world, which is kind of centered around your looks. Like how was that whole process for you? Well, I didn't cope with it very well at first. It was like a gradual progression, right? You know, I was like 16, 17 years old and I would get the feedback that I needed to lose weight, needed to lose a few pounds. I was always very muscular, very athletic. And that wasn't really the thing in 2008 and 2009. It was very much like waif, Eastern European girls who all were six foot, had blonde hair and blue like eyes. Like very like, wispy was... looking. Yeah, totally. So when I was that age, you know, that moment, I don't know if every girl experiences this, but I remember having this like aha moment where I was like, oh, well, if I just work out and don't eat like this, 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 and this, like I can like control my body. So it started there and be like, oh, I just like love the gym and I love being healthy. And then it just escalated so quickly from there because, you know, you mentioned the pressure, like it was pressure that I felt that I put on myself because I wanted to be successful. And like I mentioned, I gave up this sort of traditional go to college type of life. And I was kind of like, I am putting myself out on the line here. I chose to do this and I have to make it work. 
I had all this pressure that I felt like others were putting on me, but I also very much put a lot of it on myself. So I went to many extremes to try to get as small, 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 and as tiny as possible. And I just was obsessed with that. It was my life mission for a period of time because I just equivalated being thin with being successful. And I think, I mean, even a lot of women and girls who I've communicated with in my DMs, comments, a lot of us do that. We equivalate like thin, small, skinny with some version of happiness or success and you know, I eventually got to like the tiniest I'd ever been. And I was also the most miserable and like the absolute worst version of myself. And I wasn't even like moving the needle in terms of my career. It wasn't helping me. So luckily it all kind of started to reverse because I was like, this is not a sustainable lifestyle for me. I'm like a shell of a human at this point. (laughs) That is so wild. 